The light world geometry and dimensions can also be defined simply by customizing specific sections in the properties pane, but it can also be defined graphically, having the same functionalities of the 3D magnetic grid object. Working in the floor plan levels, we can modify some of the dimensions, for example, the length and the depth. With the object selected and moving the cursor over a segment, this will then be highlighted in light blue. This allows us to select that specific segment. The highlighted segment now has a central grip and these round grips at the ends that once enabled allow you to move and rotate the object around. Clicking in a different point the selected segment as you can see immediately shows the relating dimensions and if we use the two triangular grips here at the ends to vary the length, you'll notice that the opposite grip is held in position, while the total dimension is automatically updated. Once we have reached the desired dimension, a simple click sets the endpoint. This very same dimension can also be defined by manual input by typing in the value directly from the keyboard. And in the very same way we can also define the depth value. If we have an inclined external wall in floor plan view we can modify each of the segment dimensions or the total dimension by intervening on each segment. By selecting the external grip, we can modify the length of each section, while by selecting the internal grip in common with these two segments here, by means of the local menu options we can modify the length of the selected segment, but we can also modify the light well length. We can keep its total length constant and only vary the selected segment length.